Wendy joins us again with the first alert weather forecast. Wendy. I tell you what, I remember going to see them back in the 70s. Wow, back they've been around the that long? The 70s, they've been wow. around forever, 100 years at least. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, I still haven't seen them. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That, it's just, it's a great thing to go see. Right. So next weekend, remember, you'll be able to get out there and see it because hopefully this whole thing that's going on in the Gulf of Mexico is going to be a thing of the past. But right now, we're still looking at what might be, and we'll be talking about that in just a second. Of course, I'm talking about the tropics. But today, we got up to a high of 91 degrees, and 87 is where we're supposed to be. So we are running a few degrees above average, and that's going to continue over the next couple of days. So temperatures right now are in the 70s and across our viewing area, mostly in the mid 70s. And we're not looking at anything that is too out of character. You can see just a couple of temperature degrees warmer right along the beaches and then eastward. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 70s and even 74 degrees well east and things are quiet on shore but located out here in the gulf of mexico you can see where all of that wet weather is going and obviously movement is away from the state of florida so that means those winds are out of the east and they're pushing things offshore and into the gulf of mexico we had a couple of scattered showers early this afternoon those dissipated very quickly moving out to sea and right now we don't have anything going on we're going to see a repeat of today's weather tomorrow with a a slightly better chance of rain tomorrow afternoon late in the day. Now we've been looking at dry air sitting on top of us and that's the reason why we've been sort of quiet throughout the day and we're going to see some moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere beginning to come at us from the south and the reason for it is this right here and you can see that pushing up across and into central Florida. So this is in the upper levels of the atmosphere. This is all about happening because of what's going on here right in the Caribbean, just off the Yucatan Peninsula between that and Cuba. And this system is moving towards the north now and it will be moving into the Gulf of Mexico. And there is a 100% chance that it will become our next tropical storm. And it would be named Michael. And there is even a possibility it could become a hurricane before it makes landfall as it moves into the panhandle of Florida and then on up towards the north and east. Right now, though, it is moving towards the north at around 7 miles per hour, and most of the tracks take it into the central Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of days and then moving it off towards the northeast. So that's what we're going to be seeing taking place, and it is going to happen as the week wears on. So this upcoming week, we need to start paying attention. It's not going to be close to, the, to our coastline, but it will have an impact on our weather because we're going to see more moisture coming on through, and that means that we'll see the better chances of rain starting on Wednesday and Thursday for us. And this is one of the models that's taking it into the central Gulf, and you can see that by Wednesday, it's going to be off the coastline still, but we're going to get strong winds coming on shore, 40 to 50 mile per hour winds, and we're going to watch the system move on to the uh, up uh, into the panhandle of Florida before it moves on up towards the north and east. So that's what we're going to be watching. And we need to be paying attention to it, especially as this week wears on. So in the meantime, let's see if we can get this thing moving through a little bit more quickly. It's taking a bit. But what we're also going to be looking at is that we still have Leslie, which is out in the Atlantic, and Leslie is moving away from the U.S. mainland. So this is good news. And we're going to be seeing Leslie moving out into the Atlantic. And this is Leslie right here. She's still fairly strong with 60 mile per hour winds, but she is moving away from the U.S. mainland. So this is all good. And you can see the latest coordinates here out of the east and moving towards the east at 13 miles per hour. And this is going to be her track over the next couple of days. So as you can see, she just continues to move farther and farther away, even though she's moving towards the southeast and she's been around for a very long time. For boaters, winds will be out of the east at 10 to 15 knots, seas one to two feet with a moderate chop. And we're also looking over the next several days with the best chances of rain midweek as we take a look at what's going on in the tropics. And temperatures will begin to drop during the middle part of the week, but for the first part of this upcoming week, we're going to see temperatures in the low 90s still. Just a reminder that summer hasn't quite lost its grip. Dwayne. 